Good morning, Body of Christ. Today is Friday, October the 16th of 2020. Forgive me for my face and forgive me for my voice. I just got out of bed. Actually, I just came out of prayers. I got out of bed and I went to pray. And as soon as I prayed, I came outside to record this video. As an obedient vessel to the Most High Father, I yield myself. And I'm coming in obedience to speak forth what Father is saying in this hour. And however it comes out, it is through the Spirit of the Most High Father. It is His will and it be done and may He be glorified in it. There is an urgency, body of Christ, for us to understand the voice of Yahuwah. To hearken unto his commandments. To yield ourselves totally and completely to him. There's an urgency in the body of Christ. There's an urgency in this time. To be obedient to our father in heaven. When he sends a word through a vessel, it is the due diligence of the person listening to that word to first of all, hearken with your spiritual eyes and ears and with discernment through his Holy Spirit. And you take that word to the throne and you ask him if he sent that word and he will surely confirm but he is angered against the pride in our hearts. Because when a word is going forth and it is not in the manner that an ear wants to hear it, it's rejected. He's sending his vessels. He I sent my vessels. I've sent my children to speak to you. But you have not hearkened unto my voice. You have rejected with your pride. He tells us that you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven unless you become childlike. Meaning when you hear what the voice of Yahuwah is speaking, you cannot hear that with your chest swelled up because you already know we must humble ourselves before him and take every word spoken directly to him. Forgive me for my tears because I feel the urgency. I understand that his anger is kindled against the body. Heaven and hell is real. There is such a strong urgency for his children to wake up. And we're not hearing it. We're not hearing it. We're ignoring his voice because it's not comfortable. He wants a yielded vessel. He wants obedient children. He wants us to be ready for his coming. And we are not ready because we are too attached to the world. We have to be stripped of our garments as it speaks of in the word. Unless you strip yourself from everything that is of this world, we are overtaken by gluttony. We are overtaken by vanity. We are overtaken by worldly desires. None of us are perfect. Nobody's perfect. But he's looking for us to strive to do what is pleasing to him and not our flesh. He put it on me yesterday to talk about doubleness. There is a doubleness within each of us. There's evil and good within everybody. But it is our job as a vessel for the Most High. It is our duty. He never took the sin out of the promised land. When the children of Israel went into the promised land, he did not move the existence of sin. Neither did he move the enemies. But what he did say is that we must fight. He left it there so we can learn how to fight. 
and utterly destroy the enemy so that we can dwell in that land because holy and evil cannot dwell in the same place. We are the temple. We must overcome the flesh with our spirit. You overcome in the spirit by nurturing your relationship with the father. And I don't mean going to church. Please forgive me because I don't want to offend anybody because you go to church. That's not what I mean. It is more to it than going to that building. He wants us to yield every portion of our life to him. Forgive me. He wants us to yield every part of our life to him. Whatever we have not given up for the sake of having a relationship with him. He wants us to search our heart and make up our heart's mind. We are running out of time to get this thing together before things jump off here. He's given us time. And we have not hearkened to his voice because we have pride in our heart. Because I, it does, Father says we have to become childlike. That means we have to, when we come to him, when we come to him to confirm, when we come to him, when we hear a word that may not sit well in our spirit, because it's not comfortable, it's not what we want to hear. We can't come to him with a heart swelled up, with our chest swelled up, because we already know something. Humble yourself today. Listen to his voice. Make up your mind to serve the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. It is crucial. It is an urgency. There's an urgency in the spirit. Things are taking place and many are missing right now because we are not yielded. We are so caught up in the world. He says, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. It's the cost of being a disciple of Christ. Father will remove and he will add to whatever needs to be added to your life. When it's beneficial to his will being carried out in your life. The door is open for freedom for those who are in bondage. The door is open. He says he's giving us a way of escape. Everything is not going to be easy, but we have to take that leap of faith. We have to take that leap of faith and we have to go. The door is open. The enemy wants us to stay in a place of complacency in the body of Christ so that we do not draw nigh unto the Father. Father says we have to overcome the doubleness within. We have to lay down the desires of the flesh and be rid of those things, the works of the flesh that it speaks of in Galatians 5. Adultery lasciviousness, jealousy, envy, malice, pride. Idolatry. There's so many. body of Christ the father's anger is kindled against those who will not hearken unto his voice those who have scoffed against the, the the messengers the prophets the teachers the preachers whoever he has sent by his spirit not because of the popularity in this world but by his spirit those who he has sent and who have come in obedience to give the warnings to give the word of the mouth of Yahuwah to speak what is on the father's heart. He sent them and his voice has not been heeded. Judgment is upon this nation. 
Judgment is upon this nation. For those who hearken, his covering, his protection, his blessings and everything that he has. And I'm not talking about worldly blessings. I'm talking about spiritual blessing in the spirit, the nourishment of the spirit, the wisdom, the knowledge, the discernment, the protection in the spirit. And as he chooses to bless materially, he will do so. It's according to his will. I'm just being obedient. We are running out of time before things happen. Father says, listen to his voice. Come to him directly. Know what he wants for your life. Yield yourself to him. He wants it all. He wants it all. He wants it all. That's in my spirit. He wants it all. He wants it all. He wants everything. Yield it to him today. He wants it all. He wants it all. Mm, he wants it all. We cannot serve man and God. We cannot serve man and the Father. We have to choose. We have to choose. We have to choose. We have to choose. He says we have a choice. It is your choice to make up your mind and make up your heart's mind to make Christ the center of your life because heaven and hell is real. The enemy is going to take whoever he can down with him. Father, have mercy. The enemy is trying to take as many as he can with him because he knows his final destination. Father has given us a way out. I pray that you would get on your knees and cry out to him fast. Pray. Reach out to him. Go that extra mile. Take the extra step. Do the work that needs to be done. And when I mean work, that means sometimes we're going to have to dig a little deeper. This is more than surface deep. I pray that you understand the urgency. There is a cry. There is an urgency. The Father is, his voice is being spread throughout this earth by his vessels. Those, he, whoever he has sent to speak and say, to, to warn. Judgment is upon us, brothers and sisters. And we want to be covered in the blood. We want to be covered by the hand of the Father. And not given over to the enemy because of rebellion, because of pride, because of lust, because of, of, of in our hearts, we have went after riches more than we have searched for the father. We're more concerned about the amount in our congregation rather than the souls that are being saved. Father is not happy. He's not happy. He is not happy. His anger is kindled. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Father. I praise his holy name. Because he is mighty, he is sovereign. And I come in the fear of Yahuwah. I come in the fear of the Lord. I'm just being obedient. I pray that you would go and you would take to your prayer closets more than you ever have. Cry out to him. He knows your heart. He knows the very depths of our heart. He knows when we're coming near him with our mouth, but our hearts are far from him. Because we'd rather have what's in this world than to have that deep relationship with him or to do what needs to be done or to let go of what needs to be let go of in order to be in his presence. He knows it already. He knows it already. I pray that you will yield yourself today. Yield yourself to the Father in heaven. Heed his voice. He's speaking. It's up to us to do our due diligence to go to him directly to the throne and understand what he's asking of you and understand what it is that he wants you to do. No man can tell you that unless father sends them, but directly in your relationship, you have to ask him. I'm so, so sorry. Forgive me for my face, but I understand the urgency and I feel his anger.
I do this in 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 the name of Yahushua Hamashiach.